Hey guys, so I'm back with another Alchemy Stars video, and we have a new event out. I already put out my video for the summoning, so you can go and watch that. Today we're going to go over the event itself. So this is another one of those laid-back events. We have Story Sages with its own stamina. There's a second part to it that's going to unlock in four days. And then we have the Vending Machine. So this is another, you earn points to buy stuff out of this shop. So in order to clear out this shop, you need 62,620 event points, which are these. And it's the typical stuff. We have all of the unique stuff on the left here, and then the typical stuff. Ascension boxes, materials to level up your units, level up their affinity, nidium, sublime to level up equipment. Honestly, the most important things are the Converter Selection Box, the Star Crest, and the Special Star Flare. You definitely want to make sure you pick up the Converter Box because you get to pick out a 4 5-star Aurorian, so it's just a free 5-star Aurorian. And, of course, it's a Converter Selection Box. You can never get enough Converters in this game. You need a lot of them so you can have multiple teams for all the different kinds of content that we have. Some events we need, other teams. The Calamity Codex, you need multiple teams of each element. And the same goes for the Simulation Facility. You know, if you don't have them, you get to pick up one of the units you don't have. If you do have them, this is a free breakthrough for that unit, which is always beneficial for converters. This box is definitely a must-get. You always want to pick up the Star Crests in any of these events because this is how you break through your legendary Aurorians. You can't break through them in any other way. So you want to collect these Star Crests. You actually need way more of these Star Crests to limit break your Aurorians than just getting duplicates for your regular Aurorians. So these are very important to get. And of course, free summons. I don't know who's going to pass this up. It's three free summons. That's a lot of Lumamber. That's 900 Loom Amber worth of summons, so this is definitely worth getting. And then, you know, the furniture. I always say to get all the unique stuff, including the furniture. If you don't care about furniture, you could always skip these. I always say to buy all of the unique stuff in here. And then, of course, Ascension boxes are always good for upgrading your units. Same for the experience in all of this. All of this is... It's very easy to pick up all of this, but if you come in late to this event or you miss some days or any of that, for whatever reason, you don't think you're going to get enough of the event currency to clear out the shop. Focus on getting the converter selection box, the star crest, and the special star flare. It's actually very possible to clear out this shop, and we're going to go into that right now. So the first part of this event is the story sages. This one does have Story Sages. It goes all the way up until 12. And we have these special ST stages as well. They're just stories. And in total for this event, you'll get 1,450 Lumamber and 4,260 of the event currency. So they already let you start off pretty well in getting a lot of event currency just by completing these stages one time. And you get a lot of Lumamber as well. So for these stages, it has its own special stamina. They're called energy drinks. So the energy drinks recover at a rate of one per four hours. So basically, you're going to get six of these every day. You can only hold up to 30. So you don't want this to cap off. You want to be able to use these because most of your event currency is actually going to come from doing these stages. You'll also get some event currency from the daily login. They actually give you a very good amount, actually. You get 4,500 of the event currency from just the daily login. And you also get 800 Loom Amber, so that's also another amazing reward. There's some recharger packs in here, which is also good. Those are great to stockpile for when you really need them. So between all of the event currency you get from completing these stages one time, and from what you get from the daily login, in order to get enough points to clear out the shop, you're going to need 53,860, which actually is not that hard. It sounds like a crazy number, but it's actually not that hard at all. 
So on the first day, you basically start off with 20 energy drinks, roughly. And after you complete all of the stages, you're going to have some extra. So on the first day, you'll get 3,300 event currency in addition to the event currency you already got from completing the stages. And then every day, you're going to get six of the energy drinks. So six of the stamina for this event every day. If you do the hardest stage, N12, with all of the stamina that you get, you'll end up getting 41,820. So for the full time span of this event, you'll end up getting 45,100 of the event currency, which is massive. Basically, most of the event currency that you're going to be getting to clean out that vending machine shop is going to come from spamming this stage. Of course, if you're newer, you can do one of the lower stages if you feel like you can't do it. They do make this easy and doable. Your Aurorians only need to be Ascension to level 10, so this is very doable for basically anyone. Even if you started new, you can easily get to this point to be able to spam the stage. Most of your currency will come from here, so you want to make sure you do not allow this to cap off and then you come back into the story for the event and spam this and use up the stamina that they give you so that it doesn't overcap. After this, because you're getting most of it from this, you're getting 45,100 from doing this story. So that's going to leave you 8,760 of the event currency in order to clear out the vending machine. And you basically just have to run either the story stages or resource stages. This stage, again, for every one stamina you use, you get two of the event currency. So you're going to get double the amount of stamina you spend as event currency. So to complete the event, you either have to do story 162 times, which is 4,374 stamina, or resource stages 146 times, which would be 4,380 stamina. And I know that sounds like a lot of stamina, but it really isn't. In just 14 days, you'll get 6,000 stamina between your natural stamina refresh rate and the prison pillar facility in your Colossus when your Colossus is maxed level. So you'll get more than enough stamina without having to use any kind of recharger packs or anything in order to get enough event currency to clear out the shop. You do have to make sure you do the event story stages and use up the special stamina they give here because most of your event currency will come from here. So you want to make sure you do these stages and don't let your stamina over cap. But clearing out the shop is very simple. You want to make sure you pick up the converter selection box. Just make sure you get the free character. It is 100% worth it. You know, make sure that you do the Aurorian trial for extra Lumambra over here and to test out the characters to see if you like them. That could always help you decide whether you want to summon for them or not. As you complete the event and do all those stages, you'll be completing the special event book. So as you use your prism for the event and all of that, you'll be completing all of the stuff as well as spending ancient coins. They really encourage you with this special event book to clear out the shop. And it's very simple to do because of how they did it and the fact that the story stages have their own stamina. So you don't even have to use your stamina for this. You can continue using your stamina to build out your characters. So this is a very doable event. You should be able to buy everything from the vending machine. It's just another laid back event that allows you to continue building out your units. It's possible that a harder event is coming up, which is why they're giving us all this time to build our characters. When they do a hard event, they're very hard, and you need a lot of units to be able to do them. So you do want to make sure you continue building out your characters. And a lot of these shops that they have for these events help you build up your characters. This is stuff you're not going to have to farm, because you're just inherently getting these passively by farming. So this is just all extra stuff you're getting. So make sure you get in and do this event. So I hope you found this video helpful. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you soon. Bye.